Hello my friends. I am out here at the Southwester Lodge near Cape Disappointment, Washington, which is the most adorable campsite I have ever seen. It is chock full of vintage trailers, campers, RVs, vans, all kinds of things, and I'm kind of in photographer heaven right now. I stayed here last night because of this, and also because there was power, and I wanted power, but um, I'm going to wander around and take pictures and videos and show you how adorable this is, and it kind of feels like I've stepped back in time, which is pretty awesome, because I really wish that vans and RVs and trailers still look like this, because the world needs more color. For some reason, as we have progressed over the years, everything stopped being colorful. And everything is just boring. But here, it's amazing! Come see me. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't get to go. Hmm? I think this is the camp dog. I'm not really sure. But she's home. So they have an adorable little art gallery. It's closed at the moment, so I can't go inside, but it looks like a nice little space to relax and just enjoy the view. Um, this behind me is probably the cutest little thing. It's called the potato bug, and it really looks like a potato bug. They have this adorable little thrift trailer full of all kinds of cool stuff. Currently in the dressing room with Jim Morrison. This is the coolest dressing room ever. But I don't know who this is staring at me. It's kind of creeping me out. Who is this? Hmm. 
so this bus is actually a movie theater which isn't open until after I leave but it's pretty awesome they show movies in there between 5 and 9 p.m. and it seems like a really cool little space so if you want to come and watch a movie with your family in a bus you know where to find it I think I'm going to take a moment. I think, I think I'm going to dig deep in here and here and put my worries and my anxiety and my fears in the little bucket over there. And giving them to the universe. They also have a really awesome outdoor kitchen in case you want to cook and you didn't bring any of your own stuff. Which I wish I would have known last night because I might have actually cooked myself something. I found the vintage phone booth and it's obviously a blast from the past, so I think I'll see if I can get a hold of my 17-year-old self as I'm about ready to graduate high school and give myself some advice. Let's see if it works. So, let's do this. Begin. All right, we're going to call nineteen ninety one and talk to my seventeen year old self. Whew. Let's see what happens. Spend as much time with your mother as possible. Appreciate her and tell her how much you love her every single day because you don't have much time left. You've spent your whole life so far wondering why your father doesn't love you. It's not that he doesn't love you, sweetheart. 
He said he doesn't know how. He came back from Vietnam a different person, and he's fighting demons you will never understand. So be patient with him, and be gentle, and let him love you. The only way he knows how. You're going to go through a lot of really hard stuff. Don't hold it inside. It'll eat you alive. Don't sell all of your Care Bears at garage sales because someday those suckers are going to be worth a lot of money. Oh yeah, and that boy you've been pining over for an entire year that you thought didn't like you? It's not that he didn't like you, honey. He said he was gay. So stop your crying. Move on. In a few years, he'll come out. And you will not have spent any more time crying over someone who is never going to think you were sexy in those horrendous spandex. Get rid of those spandex, Jen. They are not attractive. And stop doing that thing with your hair. Most importantly, Jen, never hide yourself. Never hide yourself. Never become something you aren't to make anybody else happy. Be true to yourself. If they're meant to be in your life, they will love the real you. All of you. No matter what. So dance, girl. Be silly. Be crazy. Have fun. Enjoy every moment of your life. And if they're not dancing with you, and they're not laughing with you, they don't belong with you. Never stop dancing. <sighs> well, there you have it. This amazing little campground full of awesomeness. Um, I hope that you come and visit this place sometime on your own. Put it on your bucket list. Make sure you come out here and visit. It's incredible. Um, thank you for following, subscribing, leaving me comments, interacting with me. I love to hear from you. I love to get to know people. So send me messages, say hello. Until next time, you know what time it is. Dance, 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 dance. And follow your dreams. Stay weird, friends. <laughs>